This is your news source evening bulletin for today, Tuesday, the 19th day of April in the year 2022. I'm Gordon Mosley, and here's what we're tracking tonight. With the leader of the opposition now back in place, the Article 13 Civil Society Group has issued a call for the process to begin for the substantive appointments of a Chancellor and Chief Justice. In a statement, the group reminded that the President and the leader of the opposition have taken an oath to uphold the Constitution in its entirety, not partially. And the group believes that the onus is under President to initiate the appointment and confirmation process and that he must do so forthwith. In a statement, the group said it notes with dismay that successive administrations, presidents and leaders of the opposition have been unable to agree on the appointments, unmindful and unresponsive to calls to address the state of affairs in the judiciary. The group said in their view, this failure shows a disregard for the constitution and the rule of law and puts the judicial system of the country in a negative light. It said to blame the system or to call for its change is like advocating changing the system of free and fair elections because one party does not want to play by the rules of democracy. Article 13 also noted that it would be unfair not to confirm the incumbents who have acted in their positions for several years, adding that if the president is not so inclined, he must say so and offer reasons. The group said once the president begins the process, the onus shifts to the leader of the opposition to respond, adding that the reforms necessary can then follow the appointments. Guyana has been without the substantive chancellor since 2005. Just recently, the president of the Caribbean Court of Justice called for the appointments to be confirmed before the end of this year. More news coming up in just a moment. How fast is fiber? Think fast. GGT Fiber has three packages with download speeds of 50, 100, and 150 megabits per second. That's fast enough to stream movies and music, to chat with Gran and Fran, to study and more. What would you do? Upgrade to GTT Fiber today and don't get left behind tomorrow. The Ministry of Education is making a significant investment in the education system to distribute textbooks to every primary school pupil to support them at school and at home. So students and parents, please take good care of the textbooks loaned to you and remember to return them at the end of the school year so that the next batch of students can use them. Before collecting the textbooks, parents will sign a contract promising to ensure the books are kept in good condition and to return them. Parents will be required to pay the cost to place or repair any of the lost or damaged books. So let's do the right thing and use the books wisely so that as many students can benefit across Guyana. A message from the Ministry of Education. Live your fantasy at Fantasy Game & Lounge. Win big daily. Millions in cash prizes every week. Located at Giflon Mall, Fantasy Gaming Lounge, the best bet in town. Give me one damn day for my whole family. Their brand is this day. Them big bakers. Baked with love and passion by our dedicated team of fine bakers, we give you Dem Bake. With the same great quality you're used to, we now have a slightly new look. Here in Land of Canaan, we are ready to give you even more. Don't wait until you're hungry. Reach for a slice of Dem Bake. Dem Bake, Dem Bake, oh, oh, oh. Dem Bake, healthy, wholesome living. In just two years, oil production earned Guyana a whopping 608 million US dollars. These funds are being used to build bridges, roads, and other infrastructure to improve the lives of all Guyanese. Mobile One is more than oil. It's many oils. It transforms at the molecular level. When cold, it's thicker than honey. When hot, it's thinner than water. Mobile One adapts and readapts to last longer. 16,000 kilometers between oil changes. That's your engine evolved. Salgan is the authorized distributor of mobile lubricants. It's here. Introducing the MyGPL customer portal, a convenient way to access all your account information in one location. To sign up, it's easy. 
Simply go to https colon two forward slash my dot gplinc dot com. After signing up, you will receive a confirmation email. Once logged in, view your postpaid account, monitor your consumption, view current charges and payment history, retrieve current and previous bills, and submit meter readings. My GPL Customer Portal. Access to all your account information from your PC, tablet, or mobile phone at your convenience. Sign up today. For more information, contact our customer call center on 226 Laughter is the best medicine to relieve some of your stress. Cigars and Cognac, Eco Bar and Lounge presents Comedy Tuesdays. This and every Tuesday featuring Chow Pao, Mark Edwards and others. If that's not enough, come sing your heart's content at our karaoke Wednesdays. Every Wednesday is a song-filled Wednesday with lots of prizes to be won. Or enjoy our cocktail Thursdays, the Cigars and Cognac way with over a dozen mixtures to choose from buy one cocktail and get the other one free with entertainment provided by gully rats don't waste another friday night kickstart your weekend at cigars and cognac champagne city bottle special all night on moet and belay rose as top djs entertain the house to keep the vibes pumping as the champagne flows this and every friday champagne city come enjoy the vibes at your favorite entertainment spot laugh have a beer Enjoy mouth-watering cutters at Cigars and Cognac. For reservations, call 678-4792. Tell it to your enemy and tell it to your friend Watch Guyanese girl, them a hurt And them a do it in a circle Watch me, missing each and every year Flashback come again Tell it to your enemy and tell it to your friend Well, if you're ready for the party, you yeah, then Flashback, tell them a the trend While I'm missing This a not talk about a fly now no bees No girl can whine like Guyanese Watch the girl, them a do it in a circle Guyanese girls, them a dance in a circle so, Hear me a say, no, I make a band, you know, it's some boy I represent the golden smile family. You know, it's a flashback to a school party. You know, say, oh, the vibe is plenty. Slow down. Fix, 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 fix. We've got exciting news. All 12 ounce yellow cap Buster are now only $100. Buster, live in Come full get color. your Buster, Buster $100. Let's tell you now that Fibertech Industrial Plastics became the first company today to achieve certification under the Ghana National Bureau of Standards Made in Guyana Certification Mark Program. The GNBS said the company is now authorized to affix the Made in Guyana Certification Mark to several of its fiberglass products. At the certification ceremony, Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onesh Waldron, congratulated Fibertech for achieving certification to the Made in Guyana Mark. She encouraged other private sector companies to buy into the government of Ghana's plan and to aspire for standards. The Made in Guyana certification will, to my mind, help us achieve two important objectives as we look to develop our local manufacturing capacity. The first objective is to provide a trusted mechanism by which Guyanese consumers can recognize locally manufactured products. The Made in Guyana mark will assure a purchaser that he or she is buying a product that has been produced substantively or exclusively in Guyana. The product will be guaranteed to have had at least 60% local material input and have been produced by a company that has at least 70% Guyanese in its workforce. By this mark, therefore, Guyanese consumers can be assured that when they buy Made in Guyana products, that they are supporting Guyanese industry and ultimately contributing to a tangible, in a tangible and significant manner to Guyanese development. The second important objective that we wish to achieve with this brand is for it to be synonymous with quality. A person who buys a Made in Guyana product, in addition to having the assurance as to its local content, 
must also be assured of its quality. Executive Director of the GNBS, Ramrati Karan, in her remarks said the Bureau has worked with several stakeholders to formalize the mark, which will boost Ghana's local content. Ms. Karan also noted that by using the mark, manufacturers will be able to promote brand recognition and increase competitiveness for their products certified under the program. The managing director of Fibertech, Somat Ali, said his company is happy with the opportunity to demonstrate quality, and he encouraged other manufacturers to apply to be part of the Made in Guyana program. Mr. Ali added that standards is the direction for local companies to go to ensure their competitiveness and to demonstrate that Guyanese can make good quality products. The Made in Guyana certification mark is a prestigious mark, which was unveiled by the First Lady at the GNBS's National Quality Award Ceremony in 2021. It is a registered mark that aims to provide recognition to locally manufactured products on the local and international markets and is a signature of quality for authentic Guyanese products. Among the requirements to become certified, the manufacturers are required to use at least 60% raw materials from Guyana and to employ 70% Guyanese staff. The Made in Guyana certification is valid for one year and will be monitored through surveillance visits by the GMBS to ensure the approved quality is always maintained. A young motorcyclist from the village of Sparren Dam on the east coast of the Marara lost his life tragically last night when he collided with a car at the Ogle intersection along the east coast highway. The young man was identified as 22-year-old Alex Amsterdam. The accident took place just before midnight during the Easter celebrations. The youth was reportedly heading east along the Rupert Craig Highway when a motor car heading south along the Ogle Road at the intersection made its way into his path. He collided with a car and was pitched onto the roadway with his head being slammed against the road. He started to bleed from the head and died before the medical help could arrive. The 35-year-old driver of the car was taken into custody for questioning about the accident. Ghana continues to record a high number of road deaths, with speeding being blamed for most of those road deaths. A businessman who is no stranger to the Customs Anti-Narcotics Unit and who was previously charged in a drug trafficking case was back in court this morning facing a new drug trafficking charge. 55-year-old Keith King appeared before the chief magistrate and was charged with the trafficking of more than five pounds of cocaine and a quantity of marijuana. He was arrested last week at the house in Lamaha Gardens during a canoe operation. Kanu Rang said that during their search of the house that was being occupied by King, investigating Rangs found two parcels of cocaine and a quantity of marijuana. King and three other persons, including a minor, were initially arrested. But based on his investigations, Kanu only charged King with the crime. After listening to the facts of the case, the chief magistrate remanded King to prison. He is expected to make his next court appearance on the 10th of May. In 2013, King was charged in connection with a cocaine in lumber bus case. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony wants to see more people making themselves available for COVID-19 testing since he believes the low number of cases might not be a true reflection of the situation in Guyana. The minister said while there has been a decline in new cases and active cases, there has also been a decline in the number of persons presenting themselves to be tested. Right now, uh, persons are not coming forward to be tested, so we are not doing a lot of tests, and therefore the numbers might look uh, artificially low, so we have to be careful. Just over a month ago, the government lifted several COVID-19 regulations and removed the mandatory requirement for mask wearing. Since then, there has been a decline in the number of persons seeking vaccination and also a decline in the number of new cases and spread of the virus. The health minister said citizens need to still be cautious. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health is also reminding fully vaccinated persons to make themselves available for the booster shot for additional protection against COVID-19. Parpanan Mendes is committed to promoting development through quality, service and integrity. Customers are guaranteed genuine products, reliability and excellence in service. Their corporate head office at Providence affords you the added convenience of a spacious showroom with secured parking. Parfan and Mendes continues to offer their valued customers a wide range of genuine and affordable German-engineered equipment. They're leading the way in clean, green alternative energy solutions with industry-leading brands of solar equipment. So visit their showroom at Providence and enjoy efficient and courteous service. Parfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. 
Mobile Special and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Sol Guyana Inc. Mobile Special and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Sol Guyana Inc. In addition to 2% royalty, did you know that Ghana earns 50% of the profits from oil production? More than any one of the Stabber Block co venturers, ExxonMobil, Hess, and Sinoc. And by 2026, the government is expected to export 50 million barrels of oil per year, which can earn as much as 4 billion US dollars. Laughter is the best medicine to relieve some of your stress. Cigars and Cognac, Eco Bar and Launch presents Comedy Tuesdays. This and every Tuesday featuring Chow Pao, Mark Edwards and others. If that's not enough, come sing your heart's content at our karaoke Wednesdays. Every Wednesday is a song-filled Wednesday with lots of prizes to be won. Or enjoy our cocktail Thursdays, the Cigars and Cognac Way with over a dozen mixtures to choose from. Buy one cocktail and get the other one free with entertainment provided by Gully Rats. Don't waste another Friday night. Kickstart your weekend at Cigars and Cognac, Champagne City, Bottle Special all night on Moet and Belay Rosé as top DJs entertain the house to keep the vibes pumping as the champagne flows. This and every Friday, Champagne City. Come, enjoy the vibes at your favorite entertainment spot. Laugh, have a beer, enjoy mouth-watering cutters at Cigars and Cognac. For reservations, call 6 Seven eight four seven nine two. Every day I'm gonna go new style, come again. Tell it to your enemy, can tell it to your friend. Watch Guyanese girl, them a hurtle, and them a do it in a circle. Watch me, missing each and every year. Flashback, come again. Tell it to your enemy, and tell it to your friend. Well, if you're ready for the party, you're then. Flashback, tell them a the trend. While I'm missing, this a not talking about a fly now, no bees. No girl can whine like Guyanese. Watch the girl, them a do it in a circle. Guyanese girls, them a dance in a circle. Tell yeah, me, I say, no, I'm a band. You know, I sound boy. I represent the golden smile family. You know, it's a flashback to a school party. You know, say, oh, the vibe is plenty. Slow down. Fix, 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 fix. Live your fantasy at Fantasy Gaming Lounge. Win big daily. Millions in cash prizes every week. Now located at Giftland Mall. The Ministry of Education is making a significant investment in the education system to distribute textbooks to every primary school pupil to support them at school and at home. So students and parents, please take good care of the textbooks loaned to you and remember to return them at the end of the school year so that the next batch of students can use them. Before collecting the textbooks, parents will sign a contract promising to ensure the books are kept in good condition and to return them. Parents will be required to pay the cost to place or repair any of the lost or damaged books. So let's do the right thing and use the books wisely so that as many students can benefit across Guyana. A message from the Ministry of Education. We've got exciting news! All 12 ounce yellow cap Buster are now only $100. Buster, live in Come get color. your Buster, Buster $100. Super 95 gasoline gives you more reasons to drive and is available at 56 service stations nationwide. For affordable price, high performance and high mileage, choose Guyol's Super 95 gasoline. Across the region tonight, American and Cuban officials are due to meet in Washington on Thursday to discuss migration concerns. People familiar with the matter said in the highest level formal U.S. talks with Havana since President Joe Biden took office last year.
The meeting comes at a time when Biden's administration is grappling with rising numbers of migrants attempting to cross the U.S. border from Mexico, with Cubans making up a growing portion of them. Tensions between Washington and Havana over the Cuban government's crackdown on protests, continuing American sanctions on the communist-ruled island, and other issues have made it difficult for the countries to cooperate on challenges such as irregular migration. Leading the Cuban delegation will be the Deputy Foreign Minister Carlos Fernandez Nicosio. Two sources confirmed. The delegation is expected to meet with senior officials of the U.S. State Department and other agencies. The U.S. wants Cuba to take back more deportees from among the record numbers of Cubans arriving at the U.S.-Mexican border, according to a U.S. official and other sources, reports the Reuters news agency. In Mexico, the president's plan to increase state control of power generation was defeated in parliament yesterday, as opposition parties united in the face of a bill that they said would hurt investment and breach international obligations. The president's national regeneration movement and its allies fell nearly six votes short of the two-thirds majority needed in the 500-seat lower house of Congress, mustering just 275 votes after a Russia session that lasted for more than 12 hours. Seeking to roll back previous constitutional reforms that liberalized the electricity market, the president's proposed changes would have done away with a requirement that state-owned Commission Federal of Electricity sell the cheapest electricity first, allowing it to sell its own electricity ahead of other power companies. Under the Mexican bill, the company would also have been set to generate a minimum of 54% of the country's total electricity, and energy regulation would have been shifted from independent bodies to state regulators. And finally, tonight, international news. Two bomb blasts at a boys' school in the Afghan capital of Kabul killed at least six people and wounded more than 20, officials have confirmed. The blast happened at the Abdul Rahim Shahid High School in the Shia-dominated west of the city. The number of dead and wounded is likely to rise. A nearby tuition center was also targeted in a grenade attack. There was no immediate claim of responsibility. Islamic State militants have attacked the area in the past. Initial reports suggested that the Abdul Rahim Shahid pupils and staff may have been targeted by suicide bombers, but Kabul's police spokesperson said improvised explosive devices had been left outside the school, killing six people. And that's your news source evening bulletin for tonight. I'm Gordon Mosley, reporting and encouraging you to stay safe.